Saturday, February 14th, the Department of Parks and Recreation hosted the Championship Game and Award Ceremony for the East Chicago Bitty Ball teams at Heritage Hall. Mayor Copeland was there to cheer them on and ensure them that there will be lots more quality programming for the youth to come. The Bitty Ball Tournament was concluded with an award ceremony that consisted of gifting both teams a medal for their hard work and dedication during the season. We look forward to much more programming this summer from East Chicago Parks and Recreation. Um, let me tell you, we're here today at uh, Heritage Hall uh, for the Bitty Ball, we're gonna say finals, just like in the NBA. And um, it's been, it's been uh, a beautiful thing to see our children come out. Uh, not only was it in the spirit of camaraderie, but it was in the spirit of competing. And, and um, you know, there's always winners and losers, and you can see it written on, the, on their face. But at the same time, it's allowing them to develop character um, at a young age, at a young age. And basketball is about fundamentals, and it's about understanding the game, and that's what this bitty ball um, program is going to be about. We're going to give them the skills that they need. Uh, I tell you from the bottom of my heart that uh, I will make this investment into our children uh, so that they can get the fundamentals, and our basketball program it can be a feeder system. It's going to be a feeder system, okay? Just like they do in baseball. Uh, they have the farm club, then they tell them, go on up to the big league. But you got to have a feeder system, and, and that's what we're doing here. But I also want to share with you and a personal experience that I had. Uh, recently, I went to the Bulls game with them, and, and I have to admit, this is the first Bulls game I, I've been to. And, and to be able to experience that with our youth, and, and to feel all of the excitement they had and to see them going to uh, the Bulls Arena and their eyes light up and it, it's interactive. Uh, they threw t-shirts up there and the kids scrambled for those. They parachuted them down and the kids scrambled for those. Uh, they, they sit and they could see the actual look and see thousands and thousands of people. And, and you would look down there and the people would be like ants. And, and, and I could experience that with our children. So I would tell you that this program is about taking them on outings and teaching them the fundamentals. And, and I tell you, East Chicago, penny for penny, pound for pound, this is probably the best investment we will make. Okay, and what do you desire to see for the city next? I think that we have to have programming all across uh, that's when we can bring the family unit together. They can watch their children. It can interact. That's what it has to be built upon. It has to be built upon community. And, and that's what I want to see. I want to see any and every program that they desire that, that, that we have it. You take this center right here, the Unity Center. You can play volleyball in this complex. You can do rock climbing. You can have basketball in here. You can do soccer in here. And, and, and I want a program for each and every one of these sports. Uh, that's what I see. That's what I foresee. Uh, East Chicago, there's no them without us. And I tell you once again, the greatest investment that we can make in our children is not so much as the money. I find the money, but we have to find the time. The time is what they will treasure. That's what I tell you, Scott. Yes, invest in our children by giving them our time. Bringing back East Chicago basketball, or the bitty ball program, is extremely important to the city of East Chicago just because um, it's important to get kids out to, to play, um, to, to play sports, to do something. Um, I think it's very important that uh, we are giving programs and activities for our children. And being a former basketball coach, I think it's even more important to teach basketball the correct way, fundamentally. I have a staff of many basketball players, and they, along with me, all stated that we wanted to do something for our kids in the matter of basketball. So not only are you learning the sport, you're also having some type of mentorship, and hopefully they'll continue to play onto the high school level or even further. So we're excited to be able just to be the introduction point of it. Okay. Um, 
what other programs does um, the Parks and Rec Department have in conjunction with Heritage? Um, so some of the programs that we now have, because we're now officially open, we have, like I said, the video program. We're starting the program for uh, volleyball, invasion volleyball in the springtime. We also have uh, March Madness fitness workout that's coming up, um, obviously for March Madness. We have different events that we're planning. So we are planning a lot of outdoor events, our autism walk. We are doing our... Um, comedy show that we have in April. So we have several events happening. I would suggest looking at our website at eChicago.com and go to the Parks and Recreation so you'll see all of our upcoming events that we have going on. Um, again, we're officially now open, so we're trying to bring more programs and more activities for all of our residents of East Chicago. Um, what are the hours of operation for the different centers? So the hours of operation for Heritage and for Unity Recreation Center are from 10 to 5.30 p.m. And then we also are open on the weekends at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And with the, hopefully we'll hire some more staff and we'll be able to open our smaller community centers, but that's to come. So be looking forward for that information. What can both the youth of East Chicago as well as the older to senior population, how can they get involved with the different centers and the programs that are to come for this year? Well, first off, we have our website, and it's the eastchicago.com Parks, Parks and Recreation page where you can find us and all of our activities. You can always come down to the Park Department, which is at 1615 142nd Street. Most importantly, you can come and take a little walk through our greenhouse that's right behind our Park Department. and. Stuff is starting to, to come in for spring, so definitely come by and see that. You can also make sure to check out our Facebook page um, at ECTV News, and you'll see some of our flyers of activities that are happening there, too. Um, and they will be coming. We have summer coming up where we have different camps for our children. We have some senior activities that are coming and we're excited for, um, Ladies Brunch being one of them. Uh, so please make sure to continuously uh, come to the Park Department, look at our Facebook page, uh, our website, as well as just give us a call at 219-391-8474. Okay. Um, and any last remarks? Um, basically, I'm just excited to be here at this East Chicago Mini Ball uh, final game. Uh, my staff did a great job of helping with coming up with the entire program. Uh, as you can see in the video, we have some staff that are taking the score. We have some staff that are actually coaching. Um, the love for the game obviously is seen uh, throughout and they did a great job. And I wanna say a thank you to Mayor Anthony Copeland for not only thinking about our children at the young age, but giving them the opportunity to start learning fundamentals to hopefully carry on until they're in high school or further. Yeah.